love to hear your testimony. Thank you. God bless you. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Amy Stanton, and today I'll be sharing my testimony. I have been raised in a Christian home with godly parents who taught me in the ways of God. Going to church every Sunday was the norm, as well as girls rally every second Monday evening. Because of this, I was familiar with the general aspects of Christianity, like knowing John 3.16 and knowing I'm a sinner in need of a saviour. However, that meant little to me as I thought I was a pretty good moral person. When I was around 10 years old, I made a profession of faith, but I didn't fully understand the meaning of it, so my life didn't change all that drastically. Throughout my five years of homeschooling and into my high school years, I lived my life saying that I was a Christian. I was walking and talking like a believer, but I couldn't say for sure that there was any inward change. In 2019, I started EIT, and that's where I got a small taste of the real world. For the first time, I encountered people who didn't want anything to do with God and thought the Bible was a load of rubbish. Even when my beliefs were challenged by 90... Oh, even when my beliefs were challenged by a middle-aged Roman Catholic guy in my class, I still did my best to defend the faith I was 90% sure that I had. Then came 2020, the wake-up call. During the year, I was living a double life. My conscience was becoming numb, and the cycle of sin I was living in pulled me in deeper with each passing day. I didn't really care if my lifestyle pleased God, or not, because at the end of it, I was having fun, and that's all that mattered. But thankfully, during that dark and defiant time, God still had his hand on me. He lovingly ordained my path to a place where I could hide my sin no more and had to face the music. Through the work of the Holy Spirit, my eyes were... Through the work of the Holy Spirit, my eyes were opened and I could see the wretchedness of my sinful lifestyle. Most of all, I could see how it was hurting and offending God. 1 John 1 9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So that's what I did. I confessed my sin and repented of it. From then on, I knew I could not live without Jesus. With all that he has done for me while I was dead in my sin, in order that I may be a child of God, how could I not live for him? As Galatians 2.20 tells us, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life and I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. In hindsight, I can see how the Lord was still looking out for me, even when I turned my back on him. He still chased me down even when I was running away from him. He ordained this valley in my life so that in the end it gives him more glory as I turn from sin and live for him. Since then, I still do stumble and fall. And yes, I still sin because of my flesh. But now I have confidence in my God, who is the author and perfecter of my salvation, knowing that he will hold me fast and will never forsake me. My comfort in living the Christian life is Philippians 1, 6. I'm sure of this, that he who started a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Thank you. Um, jump in the water. Uh, I do appreciate uh, Matt's role that he does. Um, but we will, this is, a, this is a joy to do this as well. So Amy and Craig are going to come down and we're going to ask... Amy, a, a simple question to profess her faith, which she's already demonstrated, and we'll baptize her. So we'll, we'll jump in the water now. Leave the mic behind.
Deus.